Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by VPNTop10.com. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our video tutorials, VPN reviews, or special offers. Today what we're going to learn is how to use Views BitTorrent Client anonymously with either a VPN or a proxy. For those of you that aren't familiar with Views, it's one of the most popular and full-featured torrent clients in the world, and you can get it for free from Views.com. That's V-U-Z-E.com. Okay, so you may be wondering, what do we mean when we say use views anonymously? Well, to be fully anonymous uh, when downloading torrents, two things need to be true. First, the IP address that is visible to all your torrent peers needs to be an anonymous IP address that can't be directly traced back to your true IP address, which is the one assigned to you by your internet provider. And secondly, you need to use some form, form of encryption. Encryption lets you do several things. First, you can slip through firewalls undetected, unblock torrent sites that might be blocked by your network provider or your country, prevent throttling or the slowing of your torrents by your internet provider, or prevent them from seeing that you're downloading torrents in the first place. Of these two factors, the anonymous IP address is the most important. Most torrent downloads are traced back from an IP address that is visible to all peers in a torrent swarm. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna start this, uh, this Linux torrent that we're downloading. As you can see in this peers tab here, it shows you the IP address of every single peer that you're connected to. It even tells you the country where they're located. So if you're not using some sort of anonymization software, this IP address that's visible is the true IP address and can be traced directly back to their connection. There are two different tools you can use to encrypt your torrent downloads and anonymize your torrent IP address. These are a virtual private network, commonly known as the VPN, or a proxy server. And we're gonna show you how to use both these tools either separately or together for maximum anonymity for your views downloads. In this video, we're gonna be using VPN and proxy service provided by a company called Private Internet Access. This is a, a service that I subscribe to personally, and they were named our best torrent VPN service of 2014 and 2015 for a couple reasons. First off, unlike most VPN providers, they don't keep any server logs whatsoever, which makes your torrent activity on their network virtually untraceable. Second, they include proxy service for free with every VPN purchase, whereas most providers would make you buy it separately. They have 256-bit military strength encryption, a VPN kill switch, which makes your torrent downloads even more secure, and they allow five simultaneously connected devices, which allows you to protect all your devices or even share the account with friends. And best of all, PIA is only $3.33 per month with a 12-month subscription, which is cheaper than virtually any other VPN provider out there. So if you want to give it a shot, please go to vpntop10.com slash viewsvpn, that's V-U-Z-E VPN, to sign up. That's our affiliate link. If you go through that link, you'll get the best possible price, and we'll get a small commission. We really appreciate it. And of course, they have a seven-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not completely satisfied, you get a full refund. All right, let's get going with this tutorial. Okay, so we've downloaded and installed the Private Internet Access VPN software. And this is the fastest and easiest way to anonymize your torrents with Views because it doesn't require any manual setup with inside Views itself. The VPN software does everything. It will change your IP address to a server location of your choice, and it completely encrypts all your torrent downloads with 256-bit military strength encryption. So if we go into the advanced settings, you can see some additional options you have here. Uh, for connection type, we recommend UDP for torrents. This is gonna be faster than doing the TCP connection type. Uh, you can set up port forwarding if you want it, but most people don't need it. The VPN kill switch will instantly kill your internet connection if the VPN server drops for whatever reason. So this is a really nice fail safe for your torrents to make sure that your IP address is never exposed by accident. Uh, you can enable DNS and IPv6 leak protection if you want. And you can also choose the encrypt encryption algorithm of choice, uh, but we just recommend you leave it at, at their default. Okay, so to connect to a VPN server is pretty simple, but first we're gonna show you how it works. Okay, so we're gonna go to iplocation.net. And you can see it's showing us our current IP address without the VPN server right now. So we're gonna to connect to the VPN server. So to do that, you go down to the system tray and you find the 
private internet access uh, little icon logo guy here in red and we're going to select a Netherlands based server and click connect and so this guy turns kind of a darker shade of green and when the connection is fully established it will be a bright green so it's a nice visual indicator of your connection status and here we go we are not con now connected to the server so when you hover over the guy it will tell you your assigned ip address it's 46.166.188.206 and if we refresh the page here on iplocation.net it will confirm that this is in fact our ip address so this is now the ip address that will appear in your views torrent swarms and the cool thing is that private internet access keeps no logs and no record of your VPN uh, sessions. So there's no way to trace this IP address back to your true IP address. So that's what we mean by anonymous. Okay, so that is the easiest way to get set up. Now we're gonna show you the manual setup option uh, with the free proxy server that's included with private internet access. And you can do that inside views. So here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to anonymize your torrents using a proxy server instead of the VPN. And this can be used with or without a VPN. Uh, the advantage of a proxy is that they tend to be a little bit faster for downloads than a VPN, and it will allow your torrent IP address to be different than your web browser IP address, which some people like. Uh, the disadvantage is that they don't have built-in encryption, so you either have to use a VPN to add the encryption, or you can use Views' built-in encryption function, which we're gonna, you're going to show you how to do, but that can reduce the number of available torrent peers. So this is a bit of an involved setup process, but we're going to do it step-by-step -step for you. So first you can go to Tools and then Options in Views. And the first thing to do is in the mode, you need to make sure that, that the user proficiency level is set to advanced. Otherwise you won't be able to find all the settings that you need. So the first step is we're gonna to go to the connection tab here. Uh, and we are going to go, just gonna hit the little drop down arrow and we're gonna to go to the proxy settings. So first we wanna say enable proxying of tracker, commu tracker communications. Uh, and then you're gonna say, I have a SOX proxy. That's the type of proxy that is provided by private internet access. And then here's a, the critical part of the setup. Uh, to get all these login information, it's not the same as your VPN account info for private internet access. So we actually have to go generate a special uh, proxy login and password from your account panel. We're gonna do that now. Okay, so what you have to do is go to privateinternetaccess.com. And this is assuming you've already signed up for the account, of course. Uh, you're gonna go to your control panel, you're gonna log in. And then you're going to scroll down to this section here that says PPTP, L2TP, SOX username and password. And what you have to do is you have to click this button to generate a username and password. And that's what we're going to use for the view setup. Okay. So once you've done that, we're going to go back to views. All right. So now we're going to set up and test the proxy server. So first off, make sure you have these two boxes checked. And then for the host name, we're going to use proxy-nl.private internet access.com the port number is 1080 and then here you're going to enter in the username that you generated from the uh, from your control panel as well as your password Okay, and we're gonna uh, check this box, prevent local DNS lookups. That's an extra security feature to make sure all DNS requests are routed through the proxy server. And we're gonna hit test socks. All right, so our connection is verified. Everything's working as expected. Okay, then we wanna add this as well, proxying of peer communications, which makes sure every communication with a views peer, a torrent peer is also routed through the proxy. Uh, you're gonna select the same version five socks proxy and use the same settings as above. All right, uh, and then we also recommend checking these boxes down here. And then the important thing to do now is to restart. Uh, first, save changes, and then we're gonna restart views by just going to File, Restart Views. All right. And our settings should be good to go. So now we're gonna go back into uh, the connection menu here. And we're gonna show you, let's see. I 
this is how to enable optional encryption uh, if you're just using the proxy by itself. Like we said, you can use the proxy and VPN together. But if you want to use the proxy by itself, but you still want encryption, here's what you do. You go require encrypted transport and you enable it. Uh, you can set the encryption level. RC4 is the highest. Uh, and then these boxes determine whether or not you're going to allow non-encrypted communication as well. So if you uncheck all these boxes, it will only allow encrypted communications. Uh, and that's other people using the encryption settings from InViews for your downloads. So the advantage of this is that you're going to have uh, a strong level of encryption. It's going to prevent your internet provider from seeing that you're downloading torrents. The downside is that because most people don't use these settings, you're going to, the, the number of peers that you have available to you are going to drop. Now, if you just use VPN encryption, your number of peers won't drop because you don't have to use these settings. And so you're going to have more peers available. So we recommend that if encryption is important to you, you either just use a VPN or use a VPN and proxy together. All right, so now that we've set up our proxy server, it's important to test it and make sure it's working. Now, the cool thing about views is they actually have a built-in test function for uh, your proxy server. So if you look down here, you can see that there's now a SOX indicator uh, as well as a green light that shows that the connection is active to the SOX proxy. But if you double click it, they have statistics there. And you can, if you go up to the SOX box here and then hit the more button, you can actually see your currently assigned IP address. It even shows the port number. Uh, and we can verify that that's different than our browser IP address so that we know that it's working. All right, cool. Now I do want to show you one more advanced feature. Uh, and this is uh, teaching you how to bind views to a specific IP address or actually to bind it to your VPN. So if you're running a VPN, it ensures that views never routes traffic outside the VPN. And to do this, we're going to go to connection and then advanced network settings. So you need to look through this list until you find the one that is labeled tap windows adapter V9. So for us, that's ETH 11. We're going to type that in this box up here, ETH11. And then you want to go down here and make sure all these boxes are checked, which ensures that you enforce this binding to make sure that even if that, uh, if ETH11, so even if your v VPN interface isn't active at the time, then it won't route it separately. It makes sure that you can only use views when the VPN is active. So once you do that, you hit save. Right, get out of the settings. And now you can see there's instantly this new routing indicator down here, this new routing tab that shows you that your VPN is being routed correctly. All right, so now we're going to show you how this tool actually works. So we have a, a free Linux torrent downloading here. As you can see, it's downloading a nice clip over one megabit per second, actually one megabyte per second. Uh, but so keep your eye on, we're going to disconnect the VPN, but keep your eye on the downloaded. And this number is going to stop uh, going up even before the routing tab uh, turns red. So we're going to disconnect from the VPN. And look, right there, it stops downloading instantly. No more files are being downloaded and the routing tab is turned red. Uh, so it's a built-in kill switch for views if you want to use it. It's just an extra security feature, totally optional, but very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now you know basically everything you need to know about how to download torrents anonymously with views. Please take a second to like this video. It's a small step that makes a huge difference in our rankings on YouTube. If you want more information about private internet access, you can just click the link on the screen. Or if you're ready to sign up, please go to vpntop10.com slash viewsvpn. And if you're ready to watch some more awesome VPN videos, check out these links right here.